Americans are now the biggest wine-consuming population by volume. The average American wine drinker consumes about 10 liters of wine per year. So all eyes are on the next generation of wine drinkers to keep those numbers up. So what's the trick? David Duncan is CEO of Silver Oak Winery, and he joins us now to discuss. Hi, David. Great Hi, to Tanya. see you. Glad to be here. So is this a fickle bunch, the under 40 set? Well, I don't think they're fickle necessarily. In fact, they really know what they want. Mm -hmm. They've grown up with, uh, you know, more attainable luxuries, more um, uh, expectation of craft, you know, better foods, uh, wines, and of course, whiskeys are a big thing right now. All the craft beer boom, all of that relates into, you know, particularly what their expectations are. So they're an educated it's, it's consumer. They wine. already know what's good. And Very much so want. because their parents grew up drinking good wine mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, the next, the previous generation, their parents grew up drinking maybe not such good wine. <laughs> right, that's Jug right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So it seems like this generation is continuing the trend. So far, they're showing no signs of slowing down the wine drinking. Absolutely. Uh, it's just, and as I think as they get a little bit older and a little bit further into their earning potential, as they get those promotions, um, you know, they tend to celebrate with a great bottle of wine, hopefully a bottle of Silver Oak or Toomey, yeah. or, you know, um, and, and look for those occasions to, um, you know, have a great bottle of wine, as, as well as drinking it, you know, more and more on just a regular basis. So what do you do at Silver Oak to appeal to this group? Well, I think, you know, the, the, from our foundation, our idea is about been making a wine that is that tastes good, and it sounds kind of silly, but we're really chasing um, the idea, that, or not chasing, but but uh, committed to the idea that uh, wine is to be paired with food. Um, most of our wine is sold and 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 consumed in restaurants, and so you know that's a pairing that we really want to have happen. I think um, that we're not trying to make a wine that gets a good score and necessarily would you know stand out for. Um, a moment. Right. We, we really want it to be something that will be uh, a long, you know, a longer lasting type of relationship and period of time. And I think that's that's something that we've done, you know, very well. Um, so for your company, the relationship with restaurants is very important. That's very important, um, definitely. And then I think, you know, with the advent of communication and the way we're communicating now with social media, with um, online activities, uh, you know, where the millennials and, and the younger generations are on mobile devices mm -hmm. <clears throat> is something that you know we've really embraced with Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and you know really uh, it's amazing how you can have a conversation with all of your consumer base today where you know years ago it used to be just talking out right. and not not knowing if anybody was listening now you've obviously brought some wines thank you so much are these some of your favorites these are well these are some of our new wines oh, that these we're are just new. releasing okay. from the winery okay um, and so uh, we have two brands, the Duncan family. My, my father was the founder of Silver Oak, co-founder of Silver Oak, um, and we founded Toomey in 1999. And uh, Toomey's my grandmother's maiden name, so Aww, that's where the, that's that's so where the name comes yeah. from. <laughs> and um, and so, uh, so we have a, our Sauvignon Blanc, which is a, um, this is uh, a uh, estate bottling. So we have four different vineyard properties, all of which we own, which is, means we can call it a state. Where are they uh, all located? So there's two in Napa County and two in Sonoma County, okay. two in the Napa Valley and, and two in Sonoma County. So mm -hmm. this is really, this is our 2014 vintage. Mm, lovely. That's really, really nice. I love a dry Sauvignon Blanc. So yeah. completely dry, but Beautiful. you know, has yeah. some fullness in the mid palate mm -hmm. um, and some layering and complexity. Delicious. I think uh, this is the only wine that we make that we've we finish in a screw cap bottle because we want you to drink it this summer and then we'll we'll make more next year. That sounds great. <laughs> so, I, that's yeah. wonderful. And, and, what's then, and then we have our uh, Toomey Merlot. This is, is our Toomey? 2011. Okay. Um, Toomey does uh, four single vineyard bottlings. So we make three different Pinots and, and our Merlot. And this is a, uh, a vineyard that we own down in um, the southeastern part of Napa. And uh, this is aged in, in French oak. It's Merlot and a little bit of Cabernet Franc. This is our 2011 vintage. We just released this from the winery. Oh, this is really lovely, very smooth. Mm. We, work really with, nice. we work with a, a famed winemaker from France with the Merlot named Jean-Claude Barraway, who was the winemaker at Chateau Petrus. I love it. And what he says is that Merlot should be silky. Not velvet, but silk. I taste that silk. And so that smoothness that we're trying to achieve there, you know, as as is and Jean Claude had influence on this wine and mm. really came in in the 2012 vintage, and so we're very excited about that relationship. Very, the way that. it lays on your tongue is very yeah. very appealing. And then this one here. And then this is our Alexander Valley uh, Silver Oak. So we make um, two wines at Silver Oak: our Alexander Valley um, wine and our Napa Valley wine. And so this is our Alexander Valley wine. This is our. Um, slightly less expensive okay. bottling. Uh, we don't like to think of it as being any less quality at all, but um, 
Uh, and this is the 2011. A that, it's a great value yeah. that, that we just released from uh, the winery in August. Mm. Lovely. So nice. David, thank you so much for coming and bringing these lovely wines. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Have a great afternoon. Thanks a lot.